Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. My name is Derek Ray and with me is my commentary partner Lee Dixon and we're very much looking forward to bringing you league action today. It's Elche against Girona. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Real pleasure to be here. Looking forward to this game. Players will be a bit nervous. I was always nervous at the start of games. It's important you get your first pass off to your colleague, maybe get a good tackle in, settle the nerves down. Looking forward to a good game here. The lineup then for the hosts. Would you call it 4-5-1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4-2-3-1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. And here's the Girona starting 11. Johan Mojica plays with Pablo Maffeo in the fullback positions and a formidable striker in this setup in the person of Christian Stuani. And this head-to-head -head confrontation is underway. This could be an interesting avenue. Brandon Thomas. Borja Garcia. It's with Brandon Thomas. Granel. Just looking for the right but they could nudge in front well first rate goalkeeping oh he can't believe the goalkeeper saved that that's brilliant Played into the centre of the box. It might be on for them. He must finish! And that's easy peasy for the keeper. Adai Benitez. And Maffeo on the ball. Granel. Gerard has it. Adai Benitez, Juan Pe, Borja Garcia. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Mojica. It's with Brandon Thomas. Christian Estuani. Borja Garcia. An important interception. They've regained possession. And Maffeo on the ball. Gerard has it. Christian Estuani well, just couldn't keep the ball Mia moving the ball nicely looking for that final pass and dispossessed perfectly fair tackle and it will be a corner well a chance to take the lead it really is the crowd sends a goal
corner, kick played over. It came to nothing. Fidel has it. Genuinely thought they might cash in on that occasion, but haven't been able to do so. He's given it away. Oh, a nice looking pass. Fruitful looking attack. Tremendous block. Will he finish? The goal appeared to be at his mercy, but defenders always have a part to play in these situations. Well, if you can't block the shot, put the forward off, and that's exactly what happened there, but it's just off target. Good idea, that particular move, but not to be. Nothing in it, Derek, is there? Just testing each other out tactically. It's fascinating. Who will buckle first? Fork has it. Pablo Maffeo. Couldn't keep it. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Real danger. It's a perfect challenge. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. It was one of their better players in the first half, but needed to be better still. Lee, your thoughts? Well, no goals for him, no real chances either. He needs to help his team a little bit more. Just to get involved in the game, I think he would be the difference if he was playing better. And this head-to-head -head confrontation is underway. Just looking for the right. They could nudge in front. Well, first-rate goalkeeping. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Atai Benitez. Borja Garcia. Christian Estuani. Alert defending. Crossing possibilities, a fine block, and a substitution in the offing. Over it comes. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Nino with it. Fidel has it. Ramon Fork. Christian Estuani. It's with Brandon Thomas. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. A bit sloppy in possession. And quick thinking to react to the situation and concede the throw. He could pick out a teammate. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. And Maffeo on the ball. Atai Benitez. Christian Estuani. Fidel.
Pere Milla. He takes aim. And the keeper there to make sure nothing untoward happened. Fidel has it. Nino with it. Won it back. Fidel. Nino with it. And that is offside. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. Alcala. Pablo Maffeo. Borja Garcia. Well, look at that, Girona enjoying the bulk of possession here. But the rest needs work. It's too slow moving the ball. There's no imagination. Need a lot more from them. They've regained possession. 15 minutes remaining. Granel. Well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. Nino with it. It looks promising. Space and time for the cross. Mojica. Granel. Mojica. Extremely sloppy in possession. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Mojica. Granel. Diamanca. Borja Garcia. Brandon Thomas. And very deftly cut out. Fidel. And now they have the ball back. And only two minutes remaining here. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Is this the moment? A goal it is. At long last, they've broken the deadlock. Well, it's been so close this game. Tactics have played a part. Now they're going to have to change the tactics and see what happens. Well, here's the replay. Here's the value of crosses. And when they come in like this, almost teed up on a plate, he swings his boot at it, catches it absolutely perfect. What a finish. A dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider and the referee says that is all for today well he puts in a really thorough performance tonight Lee well, he did have a good performance, didn't he? But it's all about snatching that late goal to grab the win.